Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, in this video with a lower viewing angle here. Ow! Here we have my iPad Air, the M2 model. Yes, it's the M2 model. You can see right there, the M2 model here. And in this video, I want to try out something a little bit different here. Something that Apple, back in the days, won't allow us, you know, that forbidden us to do this. And now, in the, since, since this year, yeah, since this year, they allow it to. I'm gonna try to run Windows XP on his iPad. Uh, so recently, Apple is allowing us to do, to do uh, virtualization. So there's a Delta. We can run. So there's a GBA emulators. There's PSP emulator, which do have right here a PSP emulator. Look at this. We can now finally play Gran Turismo on an iPad. Whoops! Oh, don't don't crash my car, bro. What are you doing, man? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh, oh! Red line, red line, red line. Change gear. All right. I used to play with a controller, guys. So bear with me. Oh God, this, this is under steer. It's under steer. And so we're gonna try emulating Windows XP on this M2 iPad Air. We're gonna use this app that's called UTM. All right, UTM SE by Turing Software LLC. But I'm not gonna run it on the App Store version. All right. So I watched some videos, and some people say that the App Store version doesn't have one thing that makes the uh, virtualization run smoothly and that is JIT. So Apple on with the App Store version block JIT it's because it's injecting some kind of code that Apple does not like all right so that's why they block that the JIT version from the App Store version. So this uh, UTM version on the App Store uh, didn't have JIT so the virtualization it's not so good performance all right so I want to have JIT enabled. So there's another version of this application that is not the App Store, and that is with Alt Store. Yes, so this is a third-party uh, App Store too. That is kind of you know under the rise right now because Apple also allow side loading third-party application store in the EU. So the developer of UTM uh, actually have a version that is JIT enabled on the Alt Store. All right, so we're gonna install the Alt Store version here. All right, so we're gonna go to our Mac computer here and download Alt Server. Now there is old server available on windows but as of right now to inject the jit code on to our uh, ios devices it right now at least right now it is a bit more simpler and it's more easily being done on the mac version rather than windows so that's why we're using the mac version right now so we'll go ahead and scroll down here and download old server for mac and open up the program here next we plug in our device to the computer and you see it down top there on the menu bar that's the all star icon there hit the install old store and tap your device and then enter your apple id to install the application all right there's old store there i'm gonna go ahead and click on that untrust the developer then we're gonna go to settings scroll down vpn device management developer app trust trust all right so once you approve that uh, profile we'll go to privacy and security here scroll down until we go to developer mode here Go ahead and turn on developer mode. We have to restart the iPad here, so we can already start. All right, so I'm gonna ask it again, turn on developer mode, turn on. All right, Wi Fi is connected here. Now we're gonna open up the old store app. We open up the old store here, we're gonna go to settings, sign into our Apple ID here. All right, so it says here to enable iTunes Wi Fi syncs. Okay, so once your device show up here, let's scroll down here and click this show this iPad when on Wi Fi. Hit on apply, apply. All right, so open up the old store again, and then we're gonna go to browse, sources, sources. Here we go. This is the server that we want here UTM repository. We're gonna click on app, click on add source, click done. And we're gonna scroll down here. You can see there UTM virtual machines with JIT support. This is what is missing from the App Store version here, right? So you can see the uh, App Store version here is called SE. This one is the not SE version, right? It's the Pro Max version. I'm just kidding, y'all. This is the version that includes the JIT support, which is makes the virtualization on running on these devices much better and much faster too compared to the uh, app store version here all right okay so we're gonna click on download here all right so the next step is we're gonna enable jet the reason why we choose the old store version now i compiled some steps here that i've tried after numerous numerous tries of fail fail and fail so i'm gonna do a quick uh, recap on how i managed to, to successfully enable jet on my ipad all right Okay, so number one, we're gonna install Homebrew. If you guys haven't installed Homebrew here, go to the link there, brew.sh, and copy this link to the terminal. I copy it to the text edit because I wanna show you guys some more things, all right? Number two, 
go ahead and type in brew space install space python 3 on your terminal next copy these two commands one by one to the terminal so first up the open ssl3 and then the next one is the other command now if you get an error while typing the python 3 install you gotta type this command break stash system dress packages including with the other command here because i have this error it doesn't want me to install it you can see right there it does not allow me to install it so when i type the break dash system dash packages it suddenly works now i do have a problem while trying to run jet here so i have to run this command that i highlighted white and then it will install jit because if I, if I just click on enable JIT and go to UTM immediately, it won't work on my case. But if in the all case works, then you don't have to uh, paste that command. But if it does not work like you do, paste that white command that I put there, all right? Oh boy, that took a while to install JIT on the, on the iPad, but it looks like we are now finally done it. So open up. We can unplug the iPad from the computer here now. We're going to browse UTM gallery because we need the ISO. Okay, so here we are at the ISO download of UTM. As you can see here, we got a bunch of um, Linux distro that you can, can try it out, but I want to go to Windows XP. So I'm gonna tap on Windows XP here, and we're gonna hit on download. All right guys, so I just download the virtual guest tools for the UTM and the Windows XP ISO for our UTM virtual station here. Again, you guys can download any Windows XP uh, ISO which you can find on the web. So, we'll go back to UTM here, create a new virtual machine, so and go ahead and go to open. Here it is, open. It's done, let's do this thing. As you can see there, it gets us 512 megs of memory. And you can see, can you configure it more? Can I find alt server for JIT enabled? We already enabled it, what are you talking about? So JIT cries again, asking to activate. I just try to activate again. So I'm gonna plug in my keyboard here. I'm gonna unplug my cable and hopefully JIT doesn't cry again. So you can see here, you can bunch of change of the settings here. You can change the logo here. So I'm gonna change the logo for why not. All right, let's go to save. Let's scroll down here, CD, DVD, hit browse and input your Windows XP ISO and hit on play. And why does it need my location? No, I'm not gonna give you my location, man. What are you needing it for? There we go. Windows XP setup is loading on an iPad. We'll see here. Can we actually run it or no? All right, to start up Windows XP now, press enter. Can we press enter on my case? Yes, we did. F8. Oh, great. What is, what is the F8? <laughs> uh, virtual keyboard? Yes, thank you. F8. <laughs> enter. Uh, NTFS quick. Is it restarting? Oh, Windows XP, man. A screen that I thought I will never see running on an iPad. Trackpad. Oh, the trackpad works. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> okay, it takes a while. See, that's the thing though. Oh, well, there we go. We arrived at the desktop of our iPad Windows. Yeah, everything runs wild. All right, guys, so when the application closed or you click shut down via the virtual machine, JIT will no longer be enabled. So every time, yeah, I know it's a bit complicated. You gotta enable JIT every single time you use the app or you use the virtual machine, right? So for example here, JIT is not enabled. I cannot enable the crash, the Apple crash. There we go, right? So every time you wanna use UTM or your virtual machine, you can connect your iPad or your device to the computer once again all right go to the all store menu here go here enable jet all right successfully enable jet here so yes yeah, a little bit sucks that you know jet doesn't stay enabled on the application because i thought jet will stay enabled on the application you know it's like you have to enable it once and that's it 
but apparently it's not. Apparently you have to enable it every single time. Let's see here. Tomorrow. All right guys here. I do have an ISO of like flash games and small games that I have back in 2000 what is it 2003 2005 2006 right, right in the same era of this operating system so I burned in I, so I burned some of those program into an ISO file I copy it to this iPad see here it works all right here are some programs that i found on my old game cd from 2005 2006 so you see there they created 2001 this one is they created 2003 let's install this game all right object expected script error yes oh it's like running in like one fps per second <laughs> Ah, ah, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, sh oh, oh. We're glitching on the map. Let's try Big Beast Donuts here. Install. Will it work? Oh, oh. Full screen we got. Oh. We got sound. Oh, this is like purple place. Oh, how do you do it? What do you do it? What do you do? Oh, blue. Ah, shoot. Where's the window supposed to put it? Yeah, this is like the little Windows 7 games. Okay. But it runs great. Yeah, this type of game runs great. Let's try Dinner Dash. I think a lot of people knows this game. Let's try to install it. The Windows version, not the iPad OS version, of course. Okay, let's try Dinner Dash here on Windows XP and it works looks like huh yo oh look at this yo 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 it works under utm look this is it if i drag these people oh that runs smooth oh that runs smooth yo that runs smooth okay now they're ready all right i'm gonna click there yeah i'm gonna pick it right here all right they're cooking them things yo it works it works. I bet you. I don't think there is a dinner dash anymore on the uh, uh, play, on the on the app store, huh? Oh, we have the you know the not so original ones that you. Uh, there's so much stuff you have to pay. I bet you there's so much in-app purchases in these games. I bet you. There you go. Handful of gold, bucket of gold. Meanwhile, on this version, huh, you don't have to pay nothing, my bro. I think there is this version actually back when you know the first generation ipad is but we can play now on the m2 ipad on the m4 ipad pro as well all right next i have this game called ic tower do you all know this game i think there is a version on the iphone back in the early iphone days but i bet you there will be none on the app store let's see if this one works under utm double click and Well, it kind of runs. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. I can play, guys, but I have to keep the window moving because if I don't keep the window moving, as you can see there, the character doesn't not move. If I click on the window and move, it it, it moves. The window moves and the character moves. So this is going to be a challenge for y'all like to see. Ah! I can't do Oh, boy. This is going to be some kind of 3D dimensional stuff right here, bro. Oh, shh. Okay, let's see how long can I can make with both of the character and the window moving, bro. Oh boy. Oh, I can't do it. Alright, try one more time. Try one more time. One more time, yo. One more time for the videos, yo. Alright. Let's put it right here in the corner here. And I can move the window a bit more freely. Alright, 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 alright. Ooh, ooh. 20. Ooh. Let's see if I can make it just just to 50 man just to 50 is enough bro Ew, go go yeah there we go oh my oh my we made it though that's all oh sh 60 am i wishing too much if i can make it 100 guys am i wishing too much am i hoping too much oh oh sh 
Oh, not oh, 80. Ah. Oosh. 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 90. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I can make it 100, yo. Oh my god. We, 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 we made it. Oh yeah, we made it, boys. We made it, ladies and gentlemen, to 100. <laughs> Let's see how long I can keep this going, guys. Again, with both the window and the character moving. Ah, cool. <laughs> all right all right guys there you go windows xp running on an ipad air m2 i went to take a look at the properties and all these times man okay yeah, cumu virtual cpu 2.5 1 gigahertz and 512 megs of ram and yeah some some stuff surprised me some stuff well we know the limitations of stuff here and there but yeah guys and if you want to switch just hit that swipe button and there we go. You're back to your iPad OS limitations. <laughs> so guys, let me know in the comments down below this type of content, you know, I try some stuff different here. And thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.